Hey drummers, hope you're well. Right, continuing our little series of linear classics, linear basics. So far we've had right, left, left. And some basic ideas for getting going with that. We've had right, right, left. And they are two absolutely classics to get going with. This third one then, right, left, kick. All time classic. What these are is little basic units that, as far as I'm concerned, are the absolute bread and butter of getting a bit more creative with your fills when you've done your grade one, grade two, and you can play your fills that go, you know, And you're just ready for that next step of getting into the world of you know linear drumming, so-called, where the notes you play are in a line uh, and it just has that lovely flow to it. You know, when you start hear hearing drummers play. All that business. I always think back to when I was a kid and we had this... Uh, in fact, it was a, I was going to say DVD, but it was a VHS of Tina Turner and live in concert. And I just remember, I think the drummer was Mikey Clements. I could be wrong about this, actually. I think it was big Mikey Clements. Um, it was someone of that sort. And what happened was, I thought about my drum fills, right? You know, when I played drum fills, it sounded like... Or it sounded like... You know, And just to be clear, there's nothing wrong with those drum fills. In fact, they may well be the perfect drum fills for the music. But in the big moments in the Tina Turner song, as Mikey Clements was going. All that stuff, you know. And it just seemed like another universe. Like, how would I even get anywhere near that? I didn't understand. I was just baffled. I was just thinking, like, what? Like, is this just dude from another universe? I just don't understand. How do I get to that? I just can't. It's just There was no... Uh, clear path from where I stood to what that was and the answer is actually it turns out as I get a bit older long in the tooth it's these linear basics strung together a lot of the time and not to underestimate his playing of course he's an amazing player but actually for me so much of the, those cool things that I wanted to do so badly when I was younger break down to having fluency with about eight to ten or so or as many as you like but I, in this first case we're going to put together this list of about eight to ten like classic little linear phrases and this is as simple as right stick left stick kick and that is it people say well i can't get it that fast so i think this is something people in my experience it seems to me and i don't mean any disrespect to anybody wildly confused about you have to do it over and over again you know when you get home right and you open a beer and you sit in front of the tv what i'm doing or well, i don't know drummers who get this going way more fluently than me even are going to their drum kit and they're doing it right even if they are sitting away from the kit they're still working on it you have to have these little programs for me these sort of again eight to ten little units you've got you have them running over and over and over again every day regularly if you want to be good at this thing you're going to have to bring some something to the table man bring some effort to it because over and over again i just hear people saying oh man i just i can never go that fast well you've got to build it like, i think people are wildly confused people think just they just turn up and expect to play you know so i don't want to get into a whole debate about entitlement but for me anyway in my experience i had to craft these honestly over over years and i'm still only scratching the surface as far as i'm concerned still building it up you go to kit you play so you start off as Great, that's a great start. The next day you go. And, you know, over time, and we're talking like considerable time, we build it. But the thing is, just make it fun, right? Don't make a big deal of it. Just every time, just have these phrases, own them run with them when you're sitting around you're sitting on a park bench you're sitting watching tv you're the passenger in a car right left kick run it right left kick you're looking for evenly spaced notes by default with a triplet feel one trip look two trip look three trip look four trip blur but just to be clear i want to say this over and over again you have to earn this man it's tough to build these up it's not tough actually it just takes time man. and effort you have to bring it you have to bring it and you have to bring it and it's actually not tough it's not hard you just have to be consistent you have to keep building and building and building it takes a long time it did for me anyway to get smooth again i'm only still working on it so there we are we build and we build that age-old idea of the improvement zone comes back again and again and again for me we want to be relaxed we want to be loose we're going to start slow 
as you know, one of my favorite ways to build up anything is to start slow and work up to the improvement zone. That is the speed where you can just about do it, but it's a bit of a challenge. Hold it there. And often people started off and I would have done at one point get to that tempo and say oh but now the bass drum starts to wobble I don't know why I can't keep the bass drum in time that's because you have to earn this it's a you know a, a, a skill that takes serious time to develop so you get into that improvement zone where you just feel you can just about still do it but at this current time it's a little bit of a challenge and you hold it there if you can do it 20 seconds or so in that zone It goes way out if you have to stop you've gone too fast bring it back and live in that zone like day after day whether you're on your kit whether you're just doing it with your hands and your feet on the floor just build and build and build and over time i guarantee it if you keep going if you're consistent it will build and build to get to that point where you can just you can let it flow man again i'm just like like everyone else still working on it but that's the thing just getting to that point where you can get it to a usable tempo will take some time man but that's cool a couple of suggested ways of doing it in the end you can do all sorts with this and string it together with the ones we've learned and with the others that will come later as well a couple of basic ideas to get started number one play 16th notes one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one of my favorites here is to go So we go right, left, kick, four times. And finish with right, left, right, left on the snare drum. One, two, e, and a, three, e, and a. Right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick. Of course, then orchestrate it around the kick. And another one, for example, is to play sextuplets. Uh, here's a fill I've done videos about before, just going maybe finishing on beat four. Maybe four and or four and at the end. So da 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 six notes. Uh, three times. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. That would cover you for one, two, three, four. Big hit on beat four. Just two ideas for you there. 16th notes. And six notes. Absolutely classic phrase. Right, left, kick. Of course, they're just examples. You can string it uh, together with the others. Do anything you like with it. Just a basic little unit. Uh, how many times have we seen that all through the history of great rock, pop, funk, drumming? Beautiful little phrase. Uh, so I hope that's useful. Just get it started with that. Right, left, kick. Run it and run it and run it. Thanks for watching as always. Really appreciate it. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. Um, thanks as well, uh, of course, as always, to all the amazing people who support this channel. Uh, shout out to all the, all the channel members, especially people, people who've shown enthusias, enthusiasm about this list of uh, linear uh, little uh, one-off phrases here, little these little units that we build up. Uh, more to come on this front. A uh, couple of those two examples of drum fills, plus another one or two I'll put over up on the channel members page now as notation and practice along versions so you can get that going now. But just to put it out there, right, left, kick. I reckon after right, left, left, and right, right, left, right, left, kick is your next one. Thanks for watching as always. See you soon.